Hey everyone, it's Dieworm with a roundup. Might be even weekly. So far, so good. Don't subscribe, don't like, don't do anything. It's 2021. Who cares, right? Just enjoy the video. Let's go. Biggest news of the week is the reveal of the new Path of Exile League, which brings a complete overhaul to the endgame system. If you want the details, I made a whole video about it, or you can watch the original video. I will link both in the description down below. Mine is a lot shorter, however. I was not aware that this was in development, so this may be very old news, but Stalker 2 is apparently in the making. They recently released a teaser trailer showing in-game footage, which you see right here. Apparently, Stalker 2 was already announced in 2010, was cancelled in 2012, was started again in 2018, and now they've reached an actual milestone with this trailer. The last Stalker game, Call of Pripyat, dates from 2009, and I played those games a lot. They were a genre in its own, really, with intense horrifying scenes, first-person shooter mechanics, survival elements, and the thick layer of atmosphere around it. It spawned a whole range of similar games, mostly from the same devs by the way. Games like Metro, Servarium and Chernobylite are all games with the same themes. Post-nuclear, depressing, mutated, radiated worlds where everything went to shit. You have to survive. Stalker 2 was originally supposed to release in 2021, but the official Stalker 2 website states that no release date is known, so let's see what happens here. I'm pretty excited for this one actually. I played the old games, those are excellent games, and the new ones might be good too. Outriders, a co-op action shooter, a game that looks like a mix of Destiny 2, The Division and Gears of War to me, sent out a cheeky press release. They announced a playable demo of the game on February 25th, 2021. The mathematicians among you may have caught that February 25th actually takes place after the release date of February 2nd, which is weird, right? Well, it would be if not for the second half of the statement where they casually announce, and I quote, Speaking of which, we have decided to move the release date of Outriders to April 1st, 2021. End of quote. That's funny, right? Speaking of which, we didn't really meant to say that the game would actually release at the moment of the release date. Speaking of which, thanks for all the money you gave us in pre-orders. Speaking of which, we have no idea how to write a proper press statement that should not contain speaking of which and then a delay. It's interesting how this brings out the worst of both worlds. These devs apparently take release dates as a rough estimate of when something may or may not launch in a state that may or may not live up to expectations. It's their second delay. This game should have been released last summer actually. There's no apology in this statement anywhere, by the way, or a specific reason as to why it got delayed apart from fine tuning. I know a few other games last year that required some fine tuning. On the other side of the spectrum we got the gamers who are for some reason all project managers or game developers with various insights and release processes and game design. They're able to tell that two months delay isn't enough to get the game ready or it is plenty of additional time or they've taken two weeks off of work to play a game they've never played before, a game that probably doesn't have enough content for two weeks anyway. Everyone should chill out, stop pre-ordering, wait for reviews, see if it seems okay and then spend some money on a product. Is common sense really really that far away in 2021. On the bright side, we're getting a demo, and that's nice. It should give you a decent idea by the end of February if the game at least runs well and plays somewhat nicely. The first few hours of the game will be playable with all classes, both in single player and co-op, and the progression you make in the demo carries over to the final game. It is a free demo available for everyone as well. It's something we don't see often anymore, a demo, but I think it's very much appreciated. I wish them the best, hope they tune what they can, and we'll see at launch if the tuning was sufficient, won't we? Cataclysm released their 6th Early Access Roadmap update. As the name suggests, this is a PvE collectible card game and deck builder where you travel on a map and do quests and collect items while defeating enemies using your deck. It's a bit like the world map of King's Bounty, but instead of turn-based hexagon combat, you battle it out with cards. And because I of course gather all this material from playing all these games firsthand whenever they release updates and would never just copy press releases, I knew that this update did 
already released in December 2020? I just didn't tell you. Like the devs just never told anyone. But the devs woke up in 2021 and actually realized they didn't communicate about their update. Which brings a new boss, new cards, new artifacts and a revamped tooltip system. I played the game a while back though and it's really fun actually. Only 15 euros, still early access but gradually progressing it seems. Not a bad deal at all. Some information about the full game was revealed as well. It contains a whole new world after defeating the current last boss in the game which is a skeleton king chasing you around the various maps. The gold cap will be increased which means you can build much more powerful decks as they cost and reserve gold. Death keys appear on the world map for you to collect together with a bunch of very tough monsters to guard those keys. Gather enough of them and you unlock the final world, the death realm, where the hardest content in the game can be found. That all sounds pretty sweet. I'm looking forward to this one. Most interesting thing in the upcoming week is the new PV League, which starts January 15th. There aren't any other games releasing yet. If you think I missed something in the coverage, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all soon. Love you all. Bye bye.